So come on over, Chris. Now this is something where Dan's pretty much got draws built into his DNA, unless you hit some kind of a miss hit. Every ball you hit's gonna draw. In fact, we'll talk about individually kind of what you guys need to work on. And this ramp, my friend, that's one of my son's skateboard ramps, and that's for you to kind of help your shallow inside out approach with your irons. It doesn't work as well that it does with as good as it does with your driver, agreed? So just be careful, that camera's on, Dan, so you can stand just somewhere just not in front of that. Right, so I'm gonna put a stick in the ground, guys, out here, and we're just gonna talk about some start lines. So there's a vertical stick. And this will be a, a little bit more for Chris and Tom. But what I've got there is I've got that one stick on the ground, and then I've got that vertical relationship ahead of it. And I'm trying to do my best to get that all kind of synced up with that power pole off in the distance. So when you watch this video, you're going to see I've kind of created this. And go ahead and take a look if you want to. You'll know, kind of understand a little bit about something, you know, it's a tricky thing the we call parallax. In that when we stand off to the side of something, and if I'm going to hit some kind of a little pushy draw out there, a ball that starts to the right and draws back, when I stand in here, it seems really weird because my eyes see a completely different line to that target than what my sweet spot might see. Okay, so I'll take a turn. Just step on in here and see what I'm talking about. Stand here for a second, so come on up. Don't get too cozy. And you'll see how this golf ball can go to, that, to the right of that orange stick rather easily. Okay, so stand here first. Okay, and then come over here and stand here and take on this different perspective. Yep. Kind of interesting, right? Yeah. Okay, come on in. And this is something, especially you, you know, lifelong fader who's trying to learn how to draw it a little bit, right? These guys are all pretty good, Chandler. Like, they're all single-digit golfers. So, kind of an interesting uh, view with the eyeballs. Okay. So, it's funny that... Go ahead and take a look. And that camera's on one more time, Dan. Cool. So, when I stand in here, this club face has a different perspective, okay? And I want to talk to you about some of the... Some of the things that can help your path be more inside out. And this isn't, again, we're not trying to swing a golf club inside out. Every circle's got some down and out in it, okay? Because this club path goes back up and in, down to a swing bottom. Where's that swing bottom, Dan? Based on yesterday? Okay, good. Atta boy. Good, good, good. So the bottom of the golf swing isn't the golf ball when shots are played off the ground on full swings. Now around the green, you're gonna hit a lot of shots where you engage the ground behind the golf ball. A lot of little kind of soft, softer pitch shots, certainly flop shots, bunker play, you're certainly gonna hit it a couple inches behind the ball, okay? So this kind of behavior, when you stand in here, now come on over here, guys, stand right in front of me for a second. I got Dan really thinking about the camera now. So if I stand over here, and I again do this, and I stand on my right foot from a normal golf ball location, I'll say the golf ball is fractionally left center in my stance, and then I stand up here on my right foot. Can I hit a golf ball to the right of that vertical stick and draw the ball? I can't. Okay, there's no way I can get to that golf ball with, with a rightward club path because the ball's sitting on something I'm gonna run into. Okay, I can certainly hit little pushy draws, okay, from a situation where my weight's over here. And you can kind of see what's happening too. My pelvis starts to close a little bit, my weight gets balanced on top of my left foot, and it's pretty easy for me Okay, to hit a shot that starts to the right of the stick and wants to have some draw bias. Okay, so what kind of observation, what, what does that make you think about right there when you see that, Chris? Does that, does that spark anything? And I don't mean to put you on the spot, but how about ball location? If, I, if my pelvis doesn't, if my pelvis doesn't move left at all, it's pretty tough for me to have, take my swing circle, collect the back of the ball, Okay, with rightward club path and hit a draw. So right now my pelvis is kind of equally on top of that orange, well, they're both orange sticks, but the perpendicular orange stick. And now watch where my pelvis goes when I hit a shot. So now my pelvis is rotated and relocated on top of my lead foot, agreed? Okay, in fact, where's my pelvis relative to where that ball line stick was? Yeah, it's pretty much my, you know, I always say behinds past the ball line. Okay, 
So for the, for the faders, typically, I'm going to see pelvis rotation. This is something that is, not that I want you, you know, making your hips get forward extremely fast, because that can be problematic, but I think that in the case of Tom and you, Chris, that we've got to be a little bit more aware of this rotation and letting these hips get a fraction more forward, because if I'm forward, my swing bottom can be, my inclined circle can touch the ball and get ahead of the golf ball into the bottom of my swing, which has got some built-in rightward path there, okay? So we'll do this little exercise, fellas, just with this awareness on what this club face sees. You know, because every time I do this, it kind of freaks me out still. I stand over here and I see that I've got a, a reasonably big channel to the right of this vertical stick. I come over here and I go, there's no way. And then I've done it enough to where I'm like, yeah, I guess the, you know, the club face sees something different than what I see, right? And then I start to think, well, you know, if my pelvis, if I'm, if I'm doing something like a lot of high handicappers will do, they'll get their face open or whatever, and they'll feel like they need time to square the face, the pelvis will move back. They have no chance of ever starting it to the right. So this is the exercise. And for you, I'm going to take you inside. I'm going to tell you what I think you need to do. And you're welcome to be a fly in the wall channeler and sit there. For you two guys, this is what a lot of mini tour guys will practice. You go to a tour range, you'll see this stick out there, or some variation of it, okay? And you'll smash it, and that's fine. And I'll make another one. Aim sticks are a part of doing business, broken ones. And we're going to hit this little shot right here, guys. So one, is the club on the ground? It's never on the ground, okay? It's on the ground in the bottom of a divot, right? So you, we went through the grip pressure awarenesses yesterday, okay? The, the sense that, you know, in the left hand, just picking up the club would kill some ants, wouldn't it? Okay, when the right hand goes on, those ants that were kind of trying to march up my left thumb, they wouldn't be dead, they'd be really upset. And this ant that's stuck there between the grip and the pad of my right hand, he's trapped and he's trying to wriggle his way free, but he's not dead until I decide to change direction. Then the club's going to put pressure into my hands, all right? So standing in here and hitting these shots, this is the finish that I want you to sort of try to mimic. Okay, we're going to feel like about 60% of our weight is on our left foot. And the reason we do that is it gives us a little bit of a place to push from so that we can create some inertia and have a back swing. And this is something I think you felt when you had the smart ball one-handed between your forearms and you're doing that exercise yesterday with the right hand off. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that too. I think you'll like that. And then when I sent you that video last, uh, when I was packing up last night, on gears, we just get two across the line with you. Okay, so these shots with you are going to, you two guys are going to be feeling like your arms don't get a, a, a get go past parallel to the ground okay cool so in this swing excuse me for, it might be rattling on here in this drill here's the sensation of the drill so awareness in the grip you're going to settle up and feel 60 40 and then watch this little shot and guys you don't have to watch the golf ball it's just going to go downfield a little bit okay we're going to feel this little sense of push off the left foot okay and watch me rather than the ball for a second and we're just going to hit this pushy, th this little punchy shot to both arms straight, pelvis, past that ball line, okay? And you'll have to roll this stick back quite a bit because you'll take divots. So work your way out until you get to a point where you've got to go back kind of like a typewriter. Get your good hands on there. And the goal is to start every golf ball to the right of that stick. That's your little pushy draw. Golf ball center left, club off the ground. A little bit of a push for inertia. Hit a little shot to both arms straight. Okay, and hold and pose and pose and pose. And if you miss, you miss, and that's okay. Think you guys can do that? Sure. Good. Let me set you up, then I'll have a chit chat with Dan. <laughs> 